there's certain neighborhoods in Staten Island, especially the ones by the Verrazano Bridge, that people for some reason like to call it any kind of different stuff. Like this one in particular, you said it's Fort Wadsworth. Yes. When we list those property on the market, we say it's Roast Bank many times. Mm -hmm. But my research showed me that it's actually, it's called Shore Acres. Shore Acres, yes. So for the sake of our neighborhood that we are talking about, tell me, what? why is that happening? Well, it's definitely not a Roast Bank. That's for sure. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but because it's located very close to Verzana Bridge and very close to Fort Wadworth, you know, I like to call it Fort, Fort Wadworth, but it's kind of in between Shore Acres and Fort Wadworth. So I want right to say there. that Shore Acre, Acres is probably not like a very known popular type Some of of word and that's why we kind of you know the the realtors we as realtors we try to stay away from that because we feel probably that most people are not going online and saying well shore acres they're going to say fort wadsworth or rosebank or well, maybe rosebank because it's more known yes exactly yeah okay cool so we got that clear out of the way <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so we we want to talk about a specific area like a cul-de-sac mm -hmm. uh, that a, you've sold several homes there uh, just in, in recent months and one that just closed last week. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank but you. Um, I want people to, to get to know this neighborhood mm -hmm. because we also have some interest buyers who weren't able to, to win a bid on these homes. They still would like to live there and we possibly want to be able to um, help them out, help these homeowners who live there give more information about the, the, the property and have people be aware of that. But before this, like, so, so why would anybody want to live there? I want to move to Staten Island. What does it offer? What this specific, you know, little cul-de-sac, only a small number of homes. First of all, it's a community feeling, you know, you're moving into a very small community, but also uh, it's next to everything. So you're not far away. You're close to Brooklyn, you're close to Manhattan because you can take a bus or a short drive. Townhouses, two family townhouses. Okay, um, and how, how, do, how are they set up? Like what's the main unit like? What's the mm -hmm. second rental? Well, it's actually very convenient because each townhouse has two separate doors. So you walk in and on the first level, not the basement, but first level, you have a large studio apartment, completely legal separated, utilities separated from the main house. You okay. also have a garage in the basement, which is very rare in this type of homes. And then the second door, which leads you to the main unit with extremely spacious, uh, living room, dining room, kitchen, bay windows, you know, and you have another stair um, case to the three bedrooms on the third level. And what's the approximate square footage since you sold a couple? What's the... Yeah, it's around, with the basements, it's around 2,000 square feet. Okay, not bad, not bad. One of the reasons that it's so desirable being in that area is the transportation. Like what options people have uh, of transportation there? Well, it's a short drive if you want to drive from Verrazana Bridge or um, not, you know, like five minutes, seven minutes probably drive to St. George with the ferry. Uh, and there are buses, local buses that go either to um, to the ferry or and there are buses that go all over the Staten Island, you know, with the transfer, of course, and to the Brooklyn. Okay. Any any buses like express buses well you have to either take a local bus to get to express bus or a short drive all right so it's a little pain if you ask me but okay what about like shopping and stuff like that like food shopping grocery yeah, store? shopping is amazing yes you have well first of all walking distance you have cvs dunkin donuts you have top tomato and of course you can go you can take a drive to the mall we have an amazing staten island mall with everything costco target you know all the shops 
and if you want to go up to the ferry um they just opened the last year a year before two years ago the outlet malls so it's a lot to do okay so let's talk about the average sale price right because mm -hmm. we you know people want to know well what is it going to cost them to buy a house so this is a community that is named as the street which is water mm -hmm. community and it's obvious it's named that way because it's like pretty much by right. the water yes <laughs> some of the homes there have the water views yeah, right with the view okay. of manhattan and brooklyn which is amazing right i'm sure after listening to this there's going to be even more buyers who's going to want to go and and live in the water view community so what would a average sale price for these two family townhouses would go for us when the prices are going up so yeah i would jump on any opportunity um the pro average price for the two family town town home is somewhere 650 and above let's look at the two recent ones that we just sold and that was 14 what are yeah, you for and 26 right what mm -hmm. are you? these were really nice homes but mm -hmm. both in both cases they were tenant occupied Yes, yeah, exactly. And therefore, their condition was not that great, but um, it wasn't terrible, right? So let's... It wasn't terrible, it was livable, but uh, maybe right. not needed... modern st standards, yes. Yeah. So because yeah. they weren't renovated in in long time. However, they sold um, at the top market price at that moment and considering the conditions you know and the fact that we're tenant occupied we still were able to sell it at the uh, top price obviously our buyers who purchased these properties had yeah. to put a little bit of tlc tender yeah. love and care to to bring it up to par but uh, what do you think if if these if these homes were fully renovated yes. and mint condition do you think we would have pulled maybe 675 definitely yes yeah maybe so even above yeah yeah so yeah, it depends so, on where your townhouse is located if it's uh, you know overlooking the water that would go for um, way more if it's on the sides where uh, it's looking you know just have a partial view then of course it goes for a little less under seven but close to it yes yeah exactly yeah. your opinion what do you think had driven these buyers specifically to buy these properties well, definitely the proximity to everything, to Verrazano Bridge, you know, to Highland Boulevard. Um, some people just like the view to, to be on the water. And of course, the fact that these are two family townhomes with the legal apartments, uh, which they can, can rent or, you know, some- people. Help with the mortgage. Yeah. What, would be, what would be like a going rent right now for a studio over there? It's ground floor. It's, it's not ground a basement. floor with a huge window, so it's not a basement. So anywhere from twelve to fourteen hundred, believe it or not. Okay, and they all have garages. They have garages so, and basements. So the owner, when, when you when you move into Waterview Court, what you get really is like a nice three bedrooms upstairs. Yes. You get a garage. You get a driveway, obviously, and. <laughs> You and get a basement, and then you have a whole separate unit, which is a studio to rent out for yeah. maybe twelve hundred to four hundred dollars a month to help you pay the mortgage. Yeah, yeah the rate HOA fee is very low; it's a hundred dollar per month for garbage pickup and and snow removal. Because yeah, in Staten Island, yes. when, you, when you live on a private street, <laughs> you need to pay for them to come pick up the garbage and, and <laughs> snow. That's for sure. This really um an outreach for homeowners living on water court to understand that if if you guys are thinking about selling anytime you know in the coming year nadia has several buyers who missed out on the two other homes there's not too much activity going on in waterview because it's a it's a condensed community and not everybody's selling but if you are thinking about selling 
uh, reach out to us and let us know there's like really no obligation. We'll let our buyers know that a property is coming on the market. And if we can make a match, then we'll make a match. I will put Nadia's uh, contact information down below in the link in the descriptions for you guys to be able to uh, reach out to her. You know, if you are a homeowner who's living on Waterview and you, we would love for you to comment below and tell us why you specifically love to live there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.